ladies. Thanks for coming to our party. Amber, we're so happy that you're the hostess tonight. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, we're going to start with a game first. So you all have your little boards in front of you. If you can take the blank piece of paper, and what you're going to do is you're going to write down one chore you hate doing. Any kind of chore, it doesn't have to be sexual, and the reason why you hate it. She's writing the book, ladies. Okay, great. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and cross out the chore. Just put a line with the chore that's written down. And you're going to go ahead and introduce yourself, and you're going to tell us your name, and then you're going to say, I hate sex because, and the reason that's listed. Oh my god. My name's Amber, and I hate sex because it's every day and annoying. Oh, she's a lucky lady. <laughs> All right. So that's just giving you an idea of what the games are about. This is important to do a game at the very beginning so that you are able to help relax people and get them to be in a comfortable manner. Now, we're going to get into the demo. I'm just going to give you a little rundown of how the party's going to go so you have an idea. You all have a little um, competition form. What I'd like you to do is quickly fill that out. Put your name, email, phone number. You don't really have to worry about the postcode. I don't care too much about that. Mm -hmm. You'll also see that there's three little sections down below for you to tick off. One is if you are a PASH lover. That means that you want to join my mailing list. The second one is if you want to be a, a PASH hostess. Now, just in case you didn't know, hostesses earn a bunch of free product from me, so it's really beneficial to have a party. And then the third one is if you want to be a patch consultant. So by the end of tonight, if you're looking at me going, oh my gosh, I totally want to do what she's doing, then go ahead and tick that box. At the end of the show, I'm going to collect these, and I'm going to pick one winner, and that winner's going to get a free gift. All right, now we also have the brochures. These are yours, ladies. So what I want you to do is I want you to write all over it, circle things you like, cross out things you don't like. At the end of the show, we're going to do shopping. Shopping is done confidentially, so it's just you and me in the ordering room. Nobody needs to know that you're buying a butt plug, and we're going to go through and get all the great things that you want. This is also going to be your reference guide, so make sure that you do, you know, make little notes, funny things to remind you about all the great stuff that you enjoy. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I do go pretty quickly because I have places to go and people to do, but if you have any questions, feel free to shout it out, or you can ask me during the shopping room. One other thing, we're going to be testing a lot of products. Some of them are going to be sniffable, some of them are going to be lickable. So all sniffable products are going to go on the right hand and arm, all lickable are going to go on the left. Okay, so left is lick. Now keep in mind, you can always sniff your liquor, but you can never lick your sniffer, so don't get it's going to taste like that, okay? Are we all ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. So we're going to go ahead and open up the catalog to the first couple pages, and I'm going to follow along with y'all. So Amber, help me out. What page number are we on? At five. Five and six. So you'll notice the catalog, we've got a bunch of different categories, and this is kind of a great way to set up a, a, a romantic night for you and really pamper yourself as well as your relationship. The first section are some of our fabulous booty parlor products. That's hard to say, booty parlor products. We have our wonderful bubble bath, we have our dust up. Now dust up is one of my favorite products, and this is also one of the best foreplay products. For those of you that don't know, foreplay is the F word that we never seem to get. So if you want to get a couple more minutes of foreplay, this is a product that you want to use. It comes in this fun little container, and it's got a cute little applicator, and you can dust this anywhere on your body. It's going to give it a little bit of a bronzing effect, and it's completely edible, so you can lick it off. So what I'm going to do is put this on the left hand. Go ahead and look at the bronze and give it a nice little lick. What do you think? It's subtle, but it's nice. Very subtle, yeah. You're yeah. Not gonna, it's not like you're going to yeah. get a chocolate muffin or anything. Yeah. <laughs> so the fun thing about this, as I said, great for foreplay. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to put this in five of your favorite spots, and then you're going to tell your partner that they need to lick for it. That's going to help get you a few more extra minutes of foreplay. But the real trick is that what you're actually going to do is only put it in one spot five different times, and that way they're licking and licking and licking. Ah. All right? <laughs> so that's your dust up. Then we have one of my other favorite products, you'll hear me say that a lot, which is our sugar scrub. This is so amazing. It smells delicious. I'm going to pass it around so you can get an idea of what it smells like. Don't put it on because it is a sugar scrub. Mm. So you can use this in the shower or the bath. It's just going to help exfoliate your skin, make it smell super sexy. And the other really cool thing about this and the body butter, body butter is just the lotion, is that both of them have pheromones. Does anyone, anybody want to tell me what pheromones are? Well, I could try. Yes. <laughs> Let's hear it. Is it like scent or smell that is attractive or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So everybody has pheromones, guys and girls. 
and animals. Pheromones is a scent that you release that attracts people to you. So it's something that's going to really help get people a little bit more drawn to you. That doesn't mean that if you're wearing pheromones or excreting your natural pheromones, people are going to want to hump you all the time. <laughs> However, it is going to draw you to them. I'm American, and we do a lot of, um, it, we do a tip a lot, a lot more than Australians do. And I used to um, wear one of our pheromone products that would have, when I was doing my, um, my waitressing jobs, and I could always tell a difference because people would tip me way better when I was wearing it than I was in. So if you have a job that relies on sales, this is going to be a great product. People are going to buy more stuff for you. Or if you have to deal with really disgruntled people, wear it because they're going to treat you a lot nicer. It's also good if you want to go down to the pub, you might get a couple free drinks. All right, so those are our beauty parlor products. The next page, we've got some massage products, and massage is really wonderful for those of you that um, maybe get sick a lot. Massage is important because it helps with your immune system. It's going to make you uh, a little bit healthier. It's also nice because it makes you happy. So the more massage you are, the happier you're going to be. The product I'm going to show you tonight is our Skin Honey. This is a product that is very multi-purpose. You can use it as a massage product, a lubricant, or just an edible product that you can put over and have licked off. So if you give me your left hand again. I'm just going to put a little bit on, go ahead and rub it in a little bit, and then you can lick it off. It's sweet. It is sweet. Mm. Just like you. Mm. Okay, great. <laughs> now, there actually is quite a few products on this um, section, and I recommend all of them. They're wonderful, fab uh, fabulous, and just depending on what type of massage you like. If you like an oil, you can get the Don't Stop Massage Oil. I also recommend the Massage Candle, which is fabulous because it is made with 100% soy. And soy is going to be great for your skin. It's so you also... Take the melted wax and rub it on them. Correct. So you can have it as a candle, let it just burn for a little while, and then pour it all over. Soy will never get hotter than body temperature. So it's going to be really fun and have that erotic feeling, but without burning any area. <laughs> it's also great for your skin. So if you have dry skin, just go ahead and put it on a little bit and you can moisturize your skin. All right, now we're going to get to the next page. Now... Um, I know I've said a lot of products are my favorite, but these three are really the toppers. We will start first with our body dew. Body dew is a moisturizer for your skin. So with this product, after you're done with the shower or bath, what you're going to do is you're going to spray this from head to toe. And you're going to just rub it in and let it soak into your body. This is going to replace your normal lotion. So if you're somebody that you know, hates waiting until you're completely dry to put your lotion on, or you have really, really dry skin, this is the product that I would recommend. Also, multi-purpose. If you have ta uh, tattoos, it's going to help keep your tattoos more vibrant. If you are a tanner, the more moisturized you are, the longer your tan is going to last. And then it has pheromones, so it's going to make you smell sexy and attract people to you. So actually, um, I see you have a tattoo. Do you mind if I put this on your tattoo? Please, please. So just go ahead and rub it in a little bit. And the reason it's good for tattoos is because they tend to lose their color as they get dry and they're, you know, aged. So just making sure that you're moisturized it is going to help with that. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> then we have our Coochie, and Coochie is a rash-free shave cream. So this is wonderful for any body part that you shave. You're going to put it on like normal shaving cream. It's not going to lather, it's more of a lotion fill, and then you're just going to shave it off. What I recommend is that you put it on a couple minutes to, or a couple seconds to a couple minutes, depending on how coarse your individual hair is, because it softens the hair follicles. So the longer you put it on, the more soft it's going to be, and it's going to help prevent that razor brain and rash. Another product that you can use a couple different ways. In addition to shaving, you can also use it on your hair. So it's going to be a great deep conditioner. Just use this in replace for your normal uh, conditioner once or twice a month, and your hair is going to be silky smooth. Um, I recommend this for men as well. If you have a partner that uh, shaves his face or his neck and he tends to get really bad razor burn there, just tell him to put your coochie on his face and he'll smile all day long. <laughs> and the last product on that page is our silky sheet. Now this one is kind of the 101 purpose product. You can use this as an air freshener or deodorizer. So spray it in the room, put it in your shoes, put it in the car, wherever you want to have a nice sexy scent. You can also put this on cotton or flannel sheets and it's going to give it a nice silky smooth feeling. Mm -hmm. But the best purpose is for those of you that are stuck sleeping in the wet spot. All you have to do is spray it on the wet spot and it's going to dry it up. So it's made with talc. Talc is a drying agent. It's also good for those of you that might get the dirt under the boob sweat. Just lift your babies up, spray this on, it's going to keep you dry. So I'll spray this in the air so you can get an idea of the scent that this one is. This is our Forbidden Fruit. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Now, the next several pages are all about lingerie. I'm not really going to talk about lingerie because what you do is put it on, five minutes later you throw it on the ground. <laughs> um, we do have a variety. This is one of the corsets. They're wonderful, great quality, and I can help you with the sizing during the shopping area. Okay. 
So we're going to go to page 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. I'm not necessarily going to show you anything on these pages, but this is more of our foreplay and a little bit of our bondage. Now, everything on there is going to be very simple and safe. But bondage is really fun. If you are somebody that's a big Fifty Shades of Grey fan, you might want to try some of these bondage products. And also keep in mind that anytime you take one of your senses away, such as sight or touch, all your other senses are going to work even more. So it's great to maybe blindfold somebody, cuff them up, and they're going to be screaming for more. <laughs> these are also fabulous gifts. So if you have a hen's party that you need to go to, I would recommend any of those as a gift for them. Cool. We have a few fun books. We're just going to move right along. As I said, i got places for people to do. So let's go to page 29 and 30. Okay. All right. So what we're going to talk about is the Elite. The Elite would be one of our higher-end toys, and this is also what would be considered more of a penetration toy. So you'll notice I'll talk about a variety of different products that are used for internal stimulation and external stimulation. With this one, it does have a little bit of a, a curve up here, so it's going to help hit the G-spot, but not as much as some of the other toys, such as the Sin or the Divine. You're going to use this internally. If you want to try to help stimulate the G-spot, kind of have that facing out towards your belly button when you insert it. Or you can just rub it on the outside, give yourself a little bit of clitoral stimulation. This one has a variety of different speeds. It has a rechargeable aspect, so you don't have to have batteries in it, mm -hmm. and it's quite quiet. The other thing about this is that it is made with silicone, so silicone is going to be a little bit softer. It's going to take on a little bit more of the body temperature, so it's not going to be cold and uncomfortable. Okay. So I'll pass this around so you get an idea what it feels like. And don't worry, I'll talk about the G-spot a little bit more later. <laughs> now I also mentioned that we're going to talk about some products for stimulation on the outside. I recommend that every female have a little bit of extra stimulation on the outside, and if you haven't tried a toy, starting with some type of bullet, we're going to go to the next few pages, oh. <laughs> um, some type of bullet, which is really designed for clitoral stimulation, is a must-have. We have a variety in the cat catalog. You could use the pink bullet, the minks, um, I'm going to talk about another one here in a second, but today I'm going to focus on our remote control, because this makes it even more fun. So this is our remote control bullet. With the bullet, you're just going to rub it on the clitoral section to give yourself outer stimulation. Keep in mind that 80 to 95% of women do not have orgasms from the inside. They just have it from the outside stimulation. So if you fall in that category, make sure you use a toy to give yourself that stimulation externally. The fun thing about this one, too, is that you can use it a couple different ways. In addition to yourself, you can put it on the outside of your cheek when you're giving a blowjob. It's going to vibrate onto the Hummer, acting as a nice little vibration. Um, it's going to vibrate onto the penis. <laughs> you can also use it for headaches. Repeated vibration makes your headaches go away. And then you can use it in massage. So adding it in the palm of your hand when you're massaging, it's going to help with that um, relaxation aspect. It can also work out some of the tension knots. But the funnest aspect of this is the remote. So you would put this in your panties. If you never notice, all underwear have a little bit of a pocket. So you just slide that in there, give the remote to your partner, go out to dinner, and you're going to have a lot of fun. So that is your wireless bullet. Then we're going to talk about the Happy Rabbit. This will definitely make you happy. This is one of my favorite toys because it's really designed to give you stimulation in every single area. We have the penetration aspect, so this is going to go internally. We have the curve, so that's really designed to help hit the uh, G-spot inside. And then we have the rabbit, which is going to give you clitoral stimulation. Now this one is made with silicone, as I talked about with the Elite. It is uh, rechargeable, multiple speeds. And it also is really, really quiet. So if you can't hear that, it is on. Um, and the cool thing about this one, you're going to insert with the curve facing out towards your belly button. So let's talk about the G-spot for a second. Every female has a G-spot. It's about a walnut size, made of dense tissue. And dense tissue, unfortunately, takes a really, really long time to get aroused. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of ladies say, oh, I just don't have one. The reality is you probably haven't relaxed yourself enough so that you can actually have that G-spot orgasm. You also understand where it's at. It's inside, so you have to go up and over. It's going to be anywhere between two to four inches internally. Mm -hmm. And it's facing towards your belly button, so it's up against that wall. You really have to do a backwards come here motion in order for you to hit it, which is kind of difficult for yourself to tell your partner to do or get a toy that's designed for that. The other things that you need to realize is that you need to be really, really relaxed. So I recommend that you take a hot bubble bath, drink a couple bottles of wine, something to make yourself mm -hmm. loosen up. And the other and last and most important, in my opinion, is to realize that once you get to the point of a G-spot orgasm, you have a sensation of urination. So a lot of ladies stop what they're doing because they think they're going to pee all over themselves. <laughs> Don't worry, just relax. It means that you're almost there and push past it. 
That is why I would recommend anytime you're going to start sexual activity to go to the bathroom first, empty your bladder, and then that way you have to just let yourself go. So with this product, because you have the G-spot, the penetration, and the clitoral, this one's going to hit on the outer labia and the right on the clitoris, you're actually going to be able to have the opportunity of having all three female orgasms at once. And that's when your toes curl and you start to shout out your own name. <laughs> that's going to be with this product. Cool. All right. And now I'm not going to You'll just need to call in sick for the next couple days. If you get that, make sure you know how to work it. <coughs> All right, then we're going to talk about our smart balls. How many of you have seen Fifty Shades of Grey? Yay. Oh my gosh, yay, that's great! So Fifty Shades of Grey, she talks about the silver balls. We do have silver balls in the catalog as well, but today I'm going to talk about the beginner ball. The smart balls. These are designed to uh, exercise your pelvic floor, so it's really, really good to help tighten everything in the vaginal area. With this, you're going to insert. You can start with just one ball or both. It does have a cord, so you can pull out. Don't worry, it's not going to get lost. <laughs> Always remember that your vagina is a cul-de-sac, not a two-way street, so whatever goes in must come out. Mm -hmm. With this, you're just going to insert it, and naturally, you're going to be squeezing the muscles so that you keep the balls in. These are a little weighted. They're not super heavy, so it's what I would recommend when you're first starting out. Mm -hmm. You can even start just by lying down and squeezing the muscles. You're going to squeeze like you would stop the flow of urine. So if you can think about that, that's exactly what you're doing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're sitting there doing it right now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just testing. Yeah. So these are the smart balls. I'll pass them around so you can get an idea. But I quickly want to talk about the silver balls as well. Those are about a marble size and they're much heavier. With those, those are going to be more of the advanced because you really have to strengthen those muscles to keep them in. And if it's small than this? They're a lot smaller. They're literally like that big. Okay. So what you want to do with those, if you want to just go straight to those and, and not start with the smart balls, you'll have to start laying down. So what you'll do is you'll insert them about up to your second knuckle and you just start with one and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Once you feel that you can keep it in without much effort after about five minutes, then try standing up. And then do that again for you know, several days, see how long it takes you to strengthen them, and then you can start with the second ball. They are going to be somewhat pleasurable when you have two balls in because they kind of rock back and forth, but really more not, not necessarily sex, but jumping on the washing machine during the spin cycle or go for a motorcycle ride. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Now the next page, we have some products that you can use with your partner, mm -hmm. and we've got our C-Ring. This is going to be black in your catalog, but it's blue for my demo. And C-Rings are designed to use with a couple, also known as cock rings, whatever you want to call them. The penis goes in this middle hole where my fingers are at. It does stretch for all sizes, so if they say it doesn't fit, they're lying to you. And then you've got a bullet on all C-rings, and this is designed to give you the clitoral stimulation. So remember I said 80 to 95% don't have penetration orgasms, just clitoral orgasms. What this is designed to do is to give you the penetration from him that you enjoy, but the clitoral stimulation that you need. So it's very you know, flexible. You can move around with whatever position you're in. The other cool thing about this is that you can take the bullet out. Ah. So we talked about all the benefits of the bullet. Well, this would just be a little bit more powerful because it's on a cord and it's a little bit smaller. So you can do all the fun things with the bullet. So it's basically two toys in one. This is a powerful little toy. So if you like a lot of power or you don't know quite yet, go ahead and check it out. It also has multiple speeds. Oh yeah. So you can vibrate, surge, escalate, whatever your fun, uh, favorite is. Oh my god. Then we're going to talk about the male mood pleaser. Can you please give me two stiffies on one hand? Thank you. Now this is a new bottle, so it's going to take me a minute to figure it out. All right. Can you just go ahead and rub it in a little bit on your fingers? Thank you. Now, with the male mood pleaser, you've got to lube me up. <laughs> oh, there we go. So much nicer. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> this is exactly how it works? Yes, this is exactly how it works. No, you're going to use it on a penis. So go ahead and just rub that into your hands. It's actually going to moisturize. We'll talk about that loop here in a second. So the male mood pleaser is a toy for him. If he wow. likes hand jobs or blow jobs and you really don't like to do it or you don't want to take forever, you're just going to use this in the stroke motion. It's going to hurry everything along. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know. It's one of our most popular products. Oh, I don't one of those. Yeah. It's <laughs> also great. Um, if you just don't, I mean, you can do the deed and watch TV. You don't have to think about anything. 
The other fun thing about this product is that if he happens to have a longer shaft or sometimes certain positions hit you too deep inside, it's uncomfortable, just have him put this on, you jump on top, and it's going to act as a little bit of a buffer, so it's going to take some of that length away. Also really good to use during anal sex if you don't want the whole thing inserted. Now when you're using this, I think it's great to hand to him as well. So if you don't want to do anything, maybe it's you know your time of the month and it's just something that you don't want to think about, you just throw it out to him and tell him to have his own fun. We call it Judy the Traveling Booty. So if he is somebody that travels as well, give that to him as a little gift. Whenever you're ready to get, um, he's ready to give you his gift, you can pinch off one end, keep the gift inside, and then when you rinse it out. I recommend giving to them and telling them to clean it. <laughs> Very easy to clean, flexible, and because of that two um, openings, you can use it during any sexual activity. So this is a must-have for them, but it benefits you oh so greatly. What I would recommend if you're thinking that you don't know how to incorporate it into the bedroom, what you'll do is you'll go home and you'll say, babe, I'm going to give you a blowjob. For some of them, because they get it so infrequently, you're going to be like, they're, they're going to be excited, they're going to run to the bedroom, stripping off their clothes along the way. Once they're in there, tell them to get on the bed, hopefully he's naked, turn off the light, and then you're going to straddle him. Make sure that your back is facing him, and just bend over and pretend. <laughs> he's going to think that you're doing something new and, and exciting, and then you can show him what you got, and he'll be excited to use it even more. Yeah. So that is your male mood pleaser. Then we have the splash. So there's three important things that I think everybody should take home with them, and that's the TLC, a toy, a lube, and a cleaner. We've just talked about several different toys, then we're going to talk about the cleaner, and then I'll get to the lube. So the cleaner is a must-have if you're going to be using any toys. Normal soap and water is going to break down the material of most of the products. It's also going to leave a residue, which is really um, unhealthy for you. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you use some type of cleaning agent that's designed for the specific toys. Ours is called Splash. You can use it on any of them. Just spray it down, spray the toy down, wipe it down with a damp cloth, and you're good to go. Now the next two pages are our lubes and our enhancement creams. So you just was violated, yeah. <laughs> and you have lube all over your hands. Now this one's actually a silicone lubricant. It's the Joe Woman Premium Silicone Lube. And silicone is great because it's very silky smooth. That's soaking into it too. Yeah, so it's got vitamin E, and it is going to be good if you're somebody that has super, super dry skin. Mm -hmm. You could use this as a moisturizer. You'll also notice that it's kind of giving you a little bit of a barrier almost. Silicone makes it waterproof. So if you're somebody that likes to have lots of water sex, you want to make sure that you're using a silicone lubricant. Um, this is great because it's not necessarily just going to wash off right away. Yeah. All right? A um, little bit of this goes a long way. And before, I should have actually mentioned lubricants and how important they are. So a lot of my customers say, oh, I don't need a lubricant, I'm wet enough. Well, the reality is, is that lubricants are good because even though you're naturally wet, that's not lubricating. And it's important to lubricate vaginal tissues because they become very frail and brittle, especially during intercourse because you have that friction from the in and out motion. So you're gonna make sure that you're having something adding back into the vaginal tissues to moisturize that. And natural lubrication is not necessarily gonna do it. Um, it's also good because a lot of times people are bored with their sex life and literally adding a different type of lubricant is going to spice the whole thing up. That's all you need. So I'm a big proponent of lubricants and I recommend them to everybody. So we've got the silicone one and then we've got the warming one. So warming one is going to be a water soluble. Water soluble is great. You can use them with any of the toys. You can use them with any type of condoms. Um, but this one's just going to give it a little bit of extra heat as well. So it's going to give you a different feeling and sensation. Then we have the other lubricant at the bottom. Adam and Nave. Um, yes, actually, that's a different Joe lubricant. System Joe. Um, and that's also a water soluble. That's a very natural lubricant. One thing that I do recommend if you're somebody that's sensitive or prone to yeast infections, make sure that you don't use any scents or flavors in your lubricant because it's going to irritate whatever uh, yeast infection you might have. Yeah. So the bottom one is the best one for that because it is really one of the most natural ones that you can get. There's not a right or wrong when it comes to lubricants. It's just about whatever your body likes and sometimes it depends on what sexual activity that you're doing. Like I said, silicone is great for water sex. It's also really, really good for anal sex because it has that extra slip for the slide. And then the last thing that we've got is our enhancement creams. And the two that I'm going to talk about today would be our O-Balm and our System Joe 12 Volt. So we'll start with the O-Balm. This one is more of kind of like a beginner's or just a little bit of a spicing up. It's good for both sexes. It's more of a chapstick type material in a little mm -hmm. container. So you can put it on any erogenous zone that you want. You can put it on the nipples, kind of perks them up. You can put it on the shaft of the penis, or you can put it on the clitoral area. This is made with cinnamon. So the cinnamon is going to give that extra tingly sensation and just put a little bit of your smile on your face. 
I actually recommend taking this to work with you. So if you hate your job, every break that you get, put a little bit on down there. You'll be smiling. Okay. So that's that one. And then the system dough. This one's a little bit more intense. This one's also designed just for women. It's an oil, and it's made with a variety of different essential oils. I'm just going to show you how small the bottle is, so you're not surprised when you get it. So it's quite small. A little bit goes a long way. This is quite concentrated. And you're just going to put either a little bit on your finger or a cotton bud, whatever you want, and just rub it on the clitoral area and your labia, your outer lips. And that's going to help get the blood pumping to the erogenous zone. And the reason that that's important is because women take a very long time for that to happen, and that's what's arousing you. You need to understand that with women, it's going to affect them so much because whatever is happening here is going to affect what's happening down here. Unfortunately for us, um, if you're on antibiotics, antidepressants, birth control, if you had a hysterectomy, if you're going through menopause, if you're married, have children, or a job, all of those things affect how easy and how often you get in the mood. Mm -hmm. So if you want that pick-me-up, I would go for the System 12. And this is just going to be something that really gets your, your um, body pumping, getting you in the mood and expediting that. So these products are great. They're obviously vaginal friendly. Little bit goes a long way. With any of the products, especially ones like lubricants or enhancement creams, I always say you can always add, but you can never take away. So start out small and work your way up. Mm. Alrighty, are there any questions? No. No? Okay. So we're going to play one more quick little game. If you can take out your piece of paper again, flip it over. And what you're going to do is you're going to write or draw a little tic tac toe or a knots and crosses grid. Okay, now you're going to look through your catalog. You mark a lot of things that you like. So real quickly, just fill in all nine squares with different product names. As soon as we're done filling out the squares, then we'll actually play the game, okay? Okay. Now, ladies, what I'm going to do while they're playing the game or setting up their grid is I'm going to take this time to start cleaning up my demo. And that way, as soon as the party is over, I can quickly move into the ordering room and not worry about all the products out here. The reason why I really encourage you to put your products away are actually a couple reasons. The first one, unfortunately, some people may choose to swipe some stuff if you're leaving it out here and then you're out in the private ordering room. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen occasionally. The most important reason, though, is that once everything's in your demo box, you can take it with you to go into the shopping room. And that way, if anybody has any questions or they want to see something again, they can just you can you know, take it out and you don't have to go back out into the, where the party's at and um, let everybody know that they wanted to see some certain toy, especially if they wanted that confidentiality. So real quickly, um, set all that stuff into your, your demo. Make sure that you're putting everything with lids on it so that it's not going to spill. Um, I do recommend, especially something like the um, C-ring, that you take some uh, toys or batteries out of it because you don't want to be driving down the road and having your toys turn on. It's also really important because if you leave toys in your or batteries in your toys for an extended period of time without using them, the battery acid can erode, and then you're going to break your toy. So that's always important. All right, are you done? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up a bunch of different products. If it's on your tic-tac-toe, you're going to cross it off. Okay. Once you get three across, down, or diagonal, you're going to yell out, tic-tac-toe, give me a price, dirty little hoe. Uh, that's I, mean, me. I remember that. Go for it. All right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with body do. Uh, yeah. Coochie. Happy Rabbit. Joe Twelve Volt. Dust Up. Silky Sheets. Mood Mail Pleaser. That's a must have. <laughs> um, C Ring. Oh, I'm so close. Oh my gosh. Uh, Smart Balls. Um, the body scrub, sugar scrub, skin honey, wireless remote control, <laughs> the sin, <laughs> yes, tic tac toe, you do little puppy. You should tell me to give you a prize. Kind Yay. of a prize. There you go. Oh, All right. Thank you. Now, depending on the size of the group, you're more than welcome to say, okay, once you win, you can't win again, but we're going to keep going, and I'm going to call up a couple more winners. If you only have one prize or if it's a smaller group, then just do one. That's totally fine. All right, Amber, thank you so much for having us here. Now I'm going to just tell you all about how we're going to do the shopping process, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you all have an order form. What I want you to do really quickly is go ahead and fill out that top of the order form. Put your name, address, and phone number. Don't worry. You don't have to write anything else down on the order form. I can do that for you. If you want, you're welcome, but don't worry about it if you don't want to. Um, will you go into the ordering? I actually do it privately, and I take 1% of the time. 
The reason I do it privately is just in case you want to ask me some personal questions, but most importantly, I get confused very easily and I do not want to overcharge you with anything. It also gives us the time that we can talk about anything and I can ask you a couple other questions. Um, do keep in mind there is postage and handling. If you are going to be having the pro uh, product sent directly to you, it's going to be $14.95. If you're going to have it sent to the hostess, it's going to be $6.45. Okay. Um, let's see, anything else? If you want to book a party, go ahead and let me know in the ordering room and I'm going to give you a special gift. If you're interested in learning more about the business opportunity, I'd love to give you some information as well. We have some great specials going on right now. And lastly, that's about it. Any questions? No, I just thank you very much. Yay. Oh, actually, I know what it was. Can I go ahead and collect all the little competition forms? Oh, yeah. Cut that one. Oh, my gosh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, toy holder. I that. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly hide them up. Hostess, will you go ahead and draw a name? Who's the winner? Not me. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Here you go, toy holder. There's your prize. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into the ordering process. Like I said, one person at a time. As soon as that person's done, they're going to come out into the um, party area. They're going to say, next, and we'll just move this along. If you have a lot of questions and you think you're going to take a little bit of time, go ahead and let somebody go ahead of you, and we'll make sure that we get everything sorted. Okay. All right, thanks so much.